dramatic and disturbing video showing Metro Police rescuing six children from this apartment, two of them locked in a cage. The child abuse so severe, it's difficult to watch. It is a story the A News Now investigators broke. David Charns first obtaining evidence at the center of this horrific case. And tonight, Vanessa Murphy continues our coverage with exclusive interviews with both parents from behind bars. Now, we do want to warn you, the video in the story is of a sensitive nature. Two children locked in a cage. The beatings and starvation so obvious this boy can barely walk. Metro police discover he's one of six children, age 11 and younger, left alone inside this Las Vegas extended stay unit. Their father and stepmother arrested. I'm innocent and I wouldn't like to continue this interview without my lawyer. Travis Doss had agreed to an interview with us. Why did you think it was okay to put two children in cages? I don't think you heard me. I said I'm innocent and I would like my lawyer to be present. But Doss already admitted to the abuse in detail to police, according to this arrest report. Now he's charged with 42 felony counts. He's just scared now because of all the time he's facing. Most of them for child abuse, a couple for sex trafficking his wife, Amanda Stamper. I was dealing with a monster. Stamper is charged with seven counts of child abuse, one for each child, including the daughter she shares with Doss. Are you guilty of those charges? No. Did you ever previously try to get the children help? Um, no, because I was scared of what he would do, his retaliation. She says Doss has had custody of his six children, and abuse escalated over the past year, with Doss forcing her to sell sex beating the children and withholding food as punishment. One of the boys had no shirt on and had many injuries that did not just happen. These were injuries that happened over time. Were you part of that abuse? Did you witness that abuse? Were you aware that two children were locked in a cage? That's why I called the police. Stamper called 911 from the Walgreens across the street. And I just wanted them to be safe in the end. Like, I wanted everybody out of it. I just wanted him incarcerated. To prosecutors, Stamper should have protected the children sooner. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. You're talking about the fear that you felt about him, and I keep thinking, if you felt that way, how did those babies feel? Oh, I know they were terrified. So terrified, the children were afraid to open the door for about 10 minutes, moments before being rescued. Do you think that those children can ever recover from this? We're going to get you some help, and this is not going to happen again. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Doss and Stamper are expecting a court tomorrow morning. Stamper says she has two other children who did not live with her and one on the way. Those children were removed from that apartment. It is unclear if they remain in the care of Child Protective Services or with family. We have resources about domestic violence and child abuse at 8newsnow.com. According to grand jury transcripts, Stamper told police Doss had sent her a photo of his 11-year-old son saying he believed he had beaten the child so hard he was deceased inside this cage. You already talked to your parents, okay? You need to open the door so we can talk to you. Officers are talking to a child behind the door who refuses to remove the security chain. You can hear the small voice. We want to make sure you guys aren't hurt. We're not hurt. I can't leave until I physically see you, sweetie. Please answer the door. After about 10 minutes, a maintenance worker convinces the child to let the officers in. The adults cross the threshold, finding the six children alone, two padlocked in a small cage. Hey, Kyle.
officers struggled to open the lock. Where 